Greetings, grasshoppers. This is RJ Redden of Black Belt Bots. Hope you are having an absolutely lovely Tuesday out there. Today is my Monday, actually. Uh, I was in bed flat on my back all day yesterday with some sinus stuff. Uh, so I'm doing a little catch up. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> today we're going to talk about, we're going to flip back to designing your bot. Um, this is uh, some very important stuff. You want to design a chat bot in a way that engages people, engages their attention and engages their conversation because that is the point of a chat bot. So I'm going to cover something that a lot of people ask me about. Uh, a lot of people are kind of unsure about using sometimes uh, and, and that can be a little bit of a trial. So I'm going to explain it all to you in just a few minutes here. Uh, so first of all, what is a GIF. Uh, a GIF is a little three second movie. You see them all the time in Facebook. They are everywhere. Uh, they're everywhere on the internet, in fact. Uh, people do re little reaction videos all the time, little clips of their favorite shows, uh, animations of cartoons doing things. These are all GIFs. Uh, and so why would you use them in a chatbot? For me, it's all about breaking up the space in a way that makes sense for people and, secondly, being entertaining. Now, if your brand has nothing to do with humor, uh, maybe GIFs aren't right for you. Uh, use images instead. Use branded images. Go with, you know, go with the corporate logo and, the, and all of that look. But if you are a small business owner, uh, it is a way to cap humor is an excellent way to connect with people. Humor puts us all on the same page. Uh, humor, uh, connects us in a way that other things don't, don't really connect us. For instance, there has to be in every joke, there is something, there's something wrong going on. Uh, people slipping on banana peels. Why is that funny? Uh, it shouldn't be funny, but it's funny. Um, and making people laugh a little bit in your chat bot is an excellent way to, you know, kind of connect with that humanity side that we talk about all the time. So that is what a GIF is and why you would use, boy, Break up that breaking up that wall of text is a great idea. Yeah, I always uh, I always say to my clients, you know, try to try to have a character limit on those text bubbles, and every third or fourth text bubble, put an image in there or put a GIF in there, um, just because you you want to you want to vary up uh, your approach just a little bit. You don't want to, you know, same, same, same type of stuff. So creating a conversation, having a little humor in there is a great way to do it. Think about it like this, the classic scenario, you're at a networking meeting, you're talking to someone, uh, is it, is it something that you try to do normally to make people laugh a little bit? Uh, when I'm at networking meetings, people generally talk to me about, you know, IT problems and, uh, and I will make uh, a joke about IT. I always do it, just lightens people's mood a little bit, especially if they're talking to me about being frustrated about their computers. Uh, but uh, that it's a great way. Humor is a great way to connect with people. It's a great way to get on the same page. That's why to use them. Where to use them uh, is a, where to use them is a great question too. As I said, every third or fourth text, you really, text message, you really want to replace that uh, with a GIF. Uh, and if there are words to read on the gifts too, you want to add some extra delay in there uh, just because it is, you know, you, people have to take time to kind of process what's going on. Um, so I wouldn't overload with gifts. I absolutely, you do want to space those out. Here's why people get a little, it, it can be overdone. It can get boring, just like the emojis. 
the emojis can be uh, just insane. People can, uh, you know, as I've said in, in shows before, people can put so many emojis in there that it looks like a ransom note. That's not what you want. Uh, you want uh, simple, light, entertaining. As an extra bonus method, I always put put my gifts in that I think my crowd is going to relate to. I have a certain age group that generally likes to, you know, do business with me. And so I will put in things that are relevant to that age group. Um, I will, you know, kind of make sure that this is something, you know, 80s references. Uh, those are always good for my my group. Uh, as I've said, the wonder years, I'm going to show you that one here in a minute when I show you how to put one in those kinds of references make sense to my crowd and it's something that they respond to. I'm not going to put something totally foreign in there. Um, I'm not going to put something that, you know, nobody has ever seen before or because that adds to this. I have to, f I have to figure out what this picture is doing type of thing going on in their head. If you have too much of that, then your GIF, your series of GIFs are going to be deconnecting you with people. Um, so have something, think about your crowd, think about something that would be instantly recognizable and something that they're going to relate to. Robert C. Stern is here. Hello. The bot signal is in the sky and you've responded, Robert C. Uh, so glad to see you here. Thanks for coming today. We're talking about gifts today. We're talking about adding a little something special to your bot to make it a little bit more human and a little bit more connective with people. If you've got a question, as always, everybody drop it in the comments because I'm keeping up with them today. Uh, so how to put them in. So there is one main place that I go for all my gifts because it works for everything. And I will give that to you right now. This should be coming up. We'll show that little banner there, giphy.com. It's, it's a huge collection, searchable, and you know, the it's updated all the time. It's free. So why not use this resource, right? It's a great resource and it's super easy to find something that, uh, you know, if you've got the right keywords, you can find, uh, you can find just about anything. You can find just about anything on Giphy. I'll tell you that. Uh, anyway, I'm going to share my screen with you for just a second and I'm going to, uh, I'm going to do a thing where I am down in the corner. Very good. Okay. So, this is Giphy.com. Here's a search bar. I typed in Wonder Years, right? I came up with this guy. I have used uh, this GIF several times in my bots uh, because I just love it. It's awesome stuff. Um, and so here's how to make sure it gets into your bot here. Um, copy the link. And then um, what? Oh, actually, sorry. It's media. Hmm. You're going to want MP4, everybody. Uh, I have, I've tried the other ones. Many chat will not take the other ones. Go for the MP4. Um, and then that will be able, you'll be able to, uh, you'll be able to download that and put that in. Uh, so very good. Uh, that is the end of my screen sharing for today. So <clears throat> that's really, that's really my discussion with gifts. It's an excellent little touch to put in your bot. It's an excellent, it's another way to connect with people. I love video. You know, I love video. I wouldn't live stream every Tuesday and Thursday if I didn't. And, uh, and just putting a little bit of it into your bot and making it be something kind of humorous or relatable. This is uh, this is good stuff. It just shows again that you're a human being, that you have a sense of humor, that you have feelings, all of these things. Um, it's it's a wonderful way to connect. So if you have any questions about bots, uh, if uh, if you love bots as much as I do and you want to talk about them, you can always uh, hit me up. Go to checkoutmybot.com. 
uh, that will connect you to my chat bot and we can start talking about what you can do uh, to maybe get a chat bot or improve the one that you have. Uh, that is about all I know for today, my friends. Uh, it's a wonderful world out there. Go out and bot it up. Uh, and uh, if you have any questions, you know who to call next Thursday, one o'clock central. We will talk about broadcasts, engaging people in your bot. Uh, so please do stop by. Would love to have you. And that's it for today. I will see you in a bot.